Welcome to Many a Day. Today we're going to talk about rocks. I've seen many videos and, and presentations and just thought I would share because I thought it was pretty cool. You might want to make a driveway, you might want to make a roof, many things. Um, this is an old house that I had actually won in an auction and uh, added some um, scenery. Here is a birdhouse that we made a roof and a um, fireplace. Um, so you can see there, that's out of cardstock with homemade rocks, which is so much fun. And I was just amazed. Would you believe it comes from a, a drink carton from a fast food restaurant? <clears throat> it's all paper. And this goes with our, our theme of trying to upcycle and reuse things in a very uh, economical and ecological way. So you go from that to this. Want to watch? It's really fun. It's very therapeutic because you take that drink carton and you shred it into little pieces and chunks, depending on the size you want and what you're looking for. And um, we did an event with our guild and had um, uh, a large number of children come to make fairy houses. So I made some rocks for them that they could use if they wanted to. And some wanted to, some didn't, and that's perfectly fine. Basically, you just need some white glue. And I mixed a little water with glue and put it in that um, bottle that you see. Some paint. And I like to put Mod Podge on mine. Um, if you want a, a little glisten to it, but that's up to you. So you can see the shredded uh, car um, drink holder with glue on it. I glued this to cardstock just so it'd be easier for the children to um, use it and cut it all up and ripped it up so they'd have it. But it depends on what you're wanting to use. And you can see it's inexpensive acrylic paint. It's whatever color you want to add. This had a dark brown and then I added a, a a tan color to it so just showing you a little bit of the tan not much because if you look at rocks you'll see different shades of different colors some and it depends on what they're uh, made of so where they come from this one has a little bit of gold on top of that dark brown and tan and there's just a little close-up picture there um, it looks shiny because it's wet and it took a while to dry. If you do attach it to cardstock, I suggest you put it out in the sun, blow dry it, give it some time. It took a good overnight drying for these sheets to um, to work out. Added some gloss yellow. <clears throat> Played around with it. I had three bags of different shades of brown so the children could pick what they wanted and um, it was a lot of fun but I use these for my regular doll houses as well as bird houses that I convert into fairy houses. And uh, you can actually stack them on top of each other so that you get a bigger rock, a boulder. You can make gravel and it's just, it's just amazing. I was in awe when I learned this and I thought, well, maybe you might want to see it too. Uh, people have done some great things. They have put uh, stone walls in their buildings, driveways. And here's some little, um, decided to add a little orange. You play around with it. Like I've said before, it's, it's miniature. So if you don't like it and you can't fix it, you can pitch it. And if you're recycling or upcycling something, then you really have not invested a lot of money in it. Your time is important, but it's also fun. Just thought I'd give you a sneak peek of the children, some of the children. These are two of our grandchildren. And um, we have an event at our guild once a month. And this month we took birdhouses. My husband actually put doors in them with hinges. And the children designed them any way they wanted to. And it was a lot of fun. They had a great time. But this is what I've been saying all along. Get children involved work with them together. It's just so much fun when you all have a project to work together. And um, <clears throat> this is just one birdhouse. You'll, it's hard to see. It's a little fuzzy, but the top are the uh, rocks. This person decided to put rocks on the top of the house 
um, interesting interpretations, and this one did the same. So um, you could put them on the sides. You could make a little path. You could create a little fairy garden. Now, of course, you couldn't put it outside. Now, you'll see I've taken this house, which I've mentioned in the beginning, and decided it needed a little walkway, driveway for the garage um, entrance, and a walkway. This is a 1957 lithographic um, house with a Disney theme. And just a close up, you see the different shades. They don't all have to be dark. And then, of course, if your driveway in the front, you got to show a driveway in the back. So that's where I put this driveway. And we just took some um, train, a, a piece of plywood, and glued some train board. This is a birdhouse that I soaked and the roof popped off so that I could make a chimney and put the insides to it. Stained it, of course, and put a hinge on the door and a little doorknob. And you'll see in a minute where the roof, um, some details of the roof. Yeah, it's just kind of fun. And here you are. So you just glue those rock pieces that you painted to the roof, um, to the chimney. And I put Mod Podge. That's why it's a little, it has a sheen to it. But it just gave you uh, some close-ups of what we did. And people think it's actually rocks. It's, it's kind of fun. And there's another close-up. Now for the fireplace, I used cardstock, folded it, glued it, and then I just glued these rocks. They're not heavy because it's paper, so it works really well on light objects like cardstock. And um, some might want to use mat board, but I found cardstock worked just fine. So there you are. Hope you enjoyed this. Please come back. If you do like our videos, like and share and get involved and let me know what you're making. It's just so much fun and it's very therapeutic to shred all that paper. Have a great day.